Hey what's up guys, welcome to Trending Reviews. So today I'm going to be reviewing these. These are not the AirPod Pros, these are the TWS i500 Pros. They're an exact replica and clone of the Apple AirPod Pros. I'm not doing a comparison with this against the original AirPod Pros today. I'm just going to give you an overview of seeing how closely matched this is and the features that this comes with compared to the originals. So let's just get straight into it. All right, so just going ahead and taking a look inside the box, you see you get a user guide. Now this is the one that's designed by the Chinese company. It gives you some instructions on how to set this and connect it to your phones. It is primarily made for iPhones, but you can also use this for Androids. And as you can see, it comes with the actual headphones. They look exactly like the AirPods. Inside you get the charging cable. Now this is a USB-C to Apple Lightning cable charging cable. So if you have a USB-C power brick, you can connect this to that, or you can use this through a USB-C power bank or anything like that to charge the headphones. Much like the original Apple AirPods as well, it does come with four extra ear tips. This isn't connected very well inside the case. As you can see, it just falls out, but you can put this back in and use this to adjust for any type of ear size that you might have. So if you do lose any of the earbuds or you want to replace them, then it does come with four additional ones there. So that's everything that comes in the box. If you have a look at the actual headphones, you can see from everything from color wise, design wise, size wise, it is an exact one to one replica. Now, if you have the Apple AirPods Pro and then you want to put this side by side, I guarantee people will not be able to tell the difference. Now, the main thing about this is that it does come at a third of the price. So you get this for just under $90. Now, that is a huge saving compared to the actual prices of the original AirPod Pros. Now, one thing to note is that this doesn't really have the active noise cancellation or the transparency modes in there, but they are working on updating this to include those. So that is probably the only difference that you're gonna get with the i500 Pros compared to the AirPod Pros. Now, in terms of the actual battery life, it has four hours of playback time. With the charging case, you get 15 hours additional to that. And if you charge for just 45 minutes, then you'll get a complete four hours of playback time just from the actual AirPods. Now, in addition to this, this case is a wireless charging case as well. So you can put this on any QI wireless charger and it will charge up the case and the headphones as well. Okay, now let's go ahead and put this in and see how they sound. So this is ultimately what you're gonna be using it for. So I'll put in the right AirPod. It's got the usual connection noise that you get with other AirPods as well. So you can connect this with both Android and iPhones. This is specifically designed to be used with iPhones. If you just open up the charging case and put it next to an iPhone, it should automatically pick it up. There is a little button at the back there that you can press to pair with any of your iPhones or your iPads or Apple devices, and it should come up on the screen automatically. You can also go into the settings and change the name of the uh, actual i500 device to maybe airpods pros you can only do this on an iphone you can also use this to get the ear tip fit test which you get with the original airpod pros as well so if you wanted to adjust this you can do that with an iphone as well so pretty much every single functionality that the originals have you can pretty much do with this again this has the same in-ear optical sensors so if you do take it out it will pause your music or pause your videos that you're watching on your phone or your laptop and if you put it back in it should automatically start playing and then you can also control this by double tapping, single tapping to control your music, to skip to the next track, and all the other features that you get on the originals. Now, like I mentioned, it doesn't have the actual active noise cancellation feature. So if you were to long press, then it wouldn't switch between the different transparency and ANC features. So that would be coming up very soon in the i500 Pro model range. So keep an eye out for those ones. Okay, so now I have these connected to my phone. Let me go ahead and play some music and I'll let you know how this sounds. tapping to pause and play the music is actually quite quick so I'm quite impressed with that so a single tap will play and pause now the audio is as just as expected with a lot of these in-ear wireless headphones I have to say these ones are very loud so I'm probably on 30% on volume on my phone 
and it's just as loud as I need it to be. I can just imagine if I go to 100%, it'll be extremely loud. So for me, the quality of the audio, it's very good. I don't think it's quite there to the similarity of the actual Apple AirPods because you do hear a little bit more of the punch in the bass in the actual originals. So this doesn't really have that, but with the concealment of the actual ear tips, I can feel that it does cancel the noise a little bit. So from my point of view, I think it does a really good job trying to get the best quality from trying to mimic something like the AirPod Pros. If you are on an absolute budget, I think this is an excellent purchase. $90 is a lot cheaper than the actual AirPod Pros, but by all means, it's not the cheapest in-ear headphones out there. But nonetheless, these are how it look. You can see if you do have the AirPod Pros, they're exactly the same. Nobody will be able to tell the difference of what you're wearing if you're just walking out. But of course, that's completely up to you. If you need the active noise cancellation feature to switch between transparency mode as well, and uh, you just prefer having that original Apple design with a bit of warranty with that, then uh, you would obviously need to go for the originals. But if you're on a bit of a budget and you think this is gonna be an amazing purchase for you, then I would definitely recommend you would go for these. Now, I'll have a link in the description below of where you can purchase these exact ones. They are just under $90. So let me know what you guys think. If there's anything else you'd like me to review or give you any feedback on these specific headphones, then do drop a comment. Otherwise, I have lots more headphone reviews coming out in the future. So I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe so you won't miss those ones and I will catch you at the next one. Take care.